Hey guys, what's up? That's shaky, sorry. Um, I'm going to finally make my little intro video and I'm just gonna tell you a bunch of random facts about me. Um, I have another idea for my next video, which may be done today, it may be done sometime during the week, to be honest. I'll probably make most of my videos on Sunday, that's usually my high energy day, because I usually take Saturday um, to mentally recover and relax and things like that, because um, I'm old, mostly. <laughs> um, so, okay, so I'm Jude, um, if you haven't been to my channel before, you, the last, all of my videos leading up to this have been pretty much transition related, um, and now I'm hoping to vlog about other things on a hopefully like weekly or bi-weekly basis. Um, as far as to what those kind of things I will vlog about, I'm not entirely sure or sure at all. I'm honestly just gonna wing it. Um, I have one idea for the next video, um, just because it's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And then I'm just gonna wing it from there and see if I can get ideas from people who follow me on social media and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so random facts about Jude. Um, I identify as a queer trans man. Um, a lot of people ask me why I identify as queer and what the queer identity means to me. Um, and it's different for everybody else and not, there's people who don't like the term and there's people who reclaim the term and it's just the term that I find that best suits me. Um, I came out as a lesbian when I was really young. I was 16. Um, and so I haven't identified as straight since then and when I accepted my gender identity and started living as a man um, still identif identifying straight didn't feel right to me um, part of that's because I was just so far from that term for such a long time um, I came out as trans when I was 22 23 um, so saying I was straight didn't feel right um, and then another thing is once I accepted my gender identity um, I kind of realized that I was pretty much just attracted to anybody, everybody. Um, it didn't matter how they identified, man, woman, non-binary, um, transgender, like anything like that. Like if I find someone attractive, I find someone attractive and their gender expression or identity isn't really a basis in that. Um, so that's why I personally identify as queer. Um, I understand that not a lot of people like that term. Um, and some people find that term offensive, but that's how I choose to identify. Um, so that's why I do it. Um, let's see other random facts. I'll be 26 in October, and I still pretty much look like a teenager. <laughs> but I'm told one day that I will appreciate that. Um, I work as a lab technician in a genomics lab on a college campus. Um, so that I pretty much just do like low-level DNA sequencing for students on campus. Um, yeah, so that's really the, all there is to <laughs> say about that. I'm slowly learning more things and, and being provided opportunities to learn more things to get bumped up a level of the technician. Um, so I've been working there since I left high school, so since 2010, um, and I just got the full-time position last February. Um, I believe somewhere around there so like a year ago a year and a half ago um, other random facts I have a dog Kuma he's laying down over there you can kind of see his tail um, he's a black lab mix he is a little over five years old I've had him for like four and a half years um, a little over four and a half years um, I rescued him when he was five months old um, and he I'm pretty much obsessed with him and I hang out with him all the time <laughs> um, hobbies that I have I like to go to the gym um, I go to the gym six days a week for an hour and a half usually um, I hang out with Kuma um, I take him to the dog park and we go on walks and we hike as far as hiking goes in Indiana um, I guess another random fact I live in Indiana where I've lived for almost 26 years just a bunch of corn other hobbies, um, hang out with friends, the handful of friends that I do have in town, and it usually involves food, beer, and hookah more often than not, um, with occasional spurts of we're gonna go like canoeing and like things like that. Um, 
I like to play my PlayStation sometimes um, when I'm focused enough to do it. Other random things. Um, I have a girlfriend. Uh, we've been together for two and a half years now. She lives in Canada. It provides its own challenges, but uh, she's worth it. And I love her a lot. And she's awesome. So there's that. Um, I'm a middle child. I have an older brother and a younger sister. My mom, my stepdad, and that's my immediate family. Um, I live two and a half, three hours away from them. Um, other, I identify as a liberal. Um, I am an intersectional feminist. I'm pretty verbal about both of those things. <laughs> Usually when I go on rants on social media, um, things about that um, I don't really know what else to cover in this like little intro video I'm down to make videos about pretty much anything um, provided that they are appropriate things I don't personally like being asked by strangers about my body or um, whether or not I'm getting the surgery and y'all know what the surgery is um, I don't like to talk about that um, so I'm not gonna talk about that that's my own personal decision um, there are many folks out there on the internet who do talk about that and you can find out from then um, but other than that I'm pretty much open to talking about anything um, if they're like political based things or things regarding like I don't know anything that would involve me recognizing and acknowledging my privilege I will preface everything with that I do have an immense amount of privilege um, I am seen as a white male in society um, my documents say that i'm a white male i have always been in the middle lower middle class um, and that provides me a lot of privilege um, and i am a transgender person who want, wanted to and had access to both testosterone and top surgery um, and that's just the way my story has gone um, and it's not necessarily everyone's story and so yeah, anything where I need to acknowledge my privilege, I will preface everything with that because I think it's super important for everyone to recognize certain privileges they have in society um, for various reasons, mostly beyond like their control and stuff or anything like that. Um, so I try to do that whenever I go off on a rant because I understand that anything that I'm saying, I am privileged enough to say it. Um, that's important to me. I think that's all I got. I'm a really boring person, guys, but I'm gonna try. Um, my next video, which I may or may not make today, um, I'm going to talk about feeling behind in life, I guess is the way to sum it up. Um, something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and I feel like I know I've had people in my life or that I follow on social media that have been feeling the same way or have felt the same way, and I don't think it's important to talk about that because um, a lot of people probably do feel that way and they feel like they're the only ones that feel that way or everyone needs a little encouragement sometimes too. So um, I actually, I will probably make that today. I'm feeling pretty good today. So here's my introduction video of me rambling about a, a n nothing, about nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys want me to talk about something specific, uh, you can leave me a comment, you can message me on my social media. Um, I will do my best to link all of them. I'm doing this all from my phone, so I gotta figure out some things because I don't know how to do these things. Um, but I don't know, let me know. So thanks for listening to me ramble for almost 10 minutes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.